Peace and blessings, everybody. Young Nas, CEO of I Got Options LLC, 16 years old. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the difference specifically between buying shares of a company versus buying options, buying option contracts of a company. What's the difference? What's the difference between a stock share and stock option contract? All right, I'm going to start with options. So option contracts... Well, what option contracts are, they are contracts that give you the right to buy 100 shares of a company at a certain price. While shares, you know, it's not that complicated. All it is is you buy one share of a company, that or that's it, or however many shares you want. At whatever price they're selling that share for. Exactly. So you know, companies who, you know, if you just want to buy shares of a company, you're owning that company. You know, they, they have... Like companies like Nike, Airbnb, Amazon, they have their shares at set. They have one single share set at a certain price so that you know how much one share costs. And that's how you go about buying multiple or just even buying one. So, And that's how you own that, that whatever percentage of that company that yeah. they're offering. So you're actually an owner, a part owner with the other shareholders of that same stock. Exactly. So if you buy stocks, you're an owner. If you have stocks in your portfolio, you're you're an owner. You own those companies partially. Now, what's the difference between that and what options are? Do you own any of the stocks in an options contract? Hey, no disrespect to the people that play options, but you don't <laughs> own that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, but but you know, you don't need to own it to make money on the options. That's the cool thing about it. So, like uh, like with the ticket example I gave on. At Rhinoceros, if you, if you upload this on your page, um, I gave that example with the tickets because you don't, you're, well, you're not going to the game. That was the whole point. You're never going to the game. You're just selling those tickets for profit to somebody else who actually does go to the game. And they're not making any money, unfortunately, for the, unless they actually, you know, you know, they actually wanted to go to the game and they actually, you know, sell tickets on the side that you didn't know about. But that's, that's the difference between buying shares and buying options. So option is a contract for 100 shares of a stock that you don't really own. You just buying the right to, to sell it. That is well said. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Okay, cool. And um, so basically, a, a investor wants to invest in shares and own them for the long run and be able to sell them whenever they feel like it. But as opposed to an options contract, is kind of limited, right? Yes, because the, the maximum amount that you're allowed to, like the farthest, the farthest out contract you can get for options is three years. Any you can't go, you can't have an option contract for anything past three years. Mm. And let me let me explain that because every option contract has an expiration date. I forgot to say that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that stuff expires. So once that expiration date hits, then your contract, you know, it has to be sold. Or if you, if it's not sold, do you have to purchase? Oh, that's good. That's a good point. So, um, if you're down on expiration date, you're not. It's not gonna fill those contracts automatically for you. And that's a good point that you brought up because some brokers, like Webull, you know, they they have like this button to where it says, "Do you wish to automatically, f you know, um, purchase?" Your your call contract when at expiration, click no on that because you don't want to spend waste extra money on that, um, because you don't need to because the profit mathematically from what from what I've researched you don't even need to actually buy or exercise your option because however however much you generate in profit off of your option contract alone is enough you would just be losing more money if you do that mm -hmm. mathematically. So an option, in a nutshell, options are make specifically for selling, the selling a stock. You got that in mind. You're not trying to really invest and hold on to it in, for the long term. Options are more or less a short-term profit play. Yeah, so it's mostly for day trading, swing trading. And not to say that shares aren't for that, but if you want to, like if you have a small account, I would strongly suggest getting on the option you know studying options how they work 
and I'll contribute to that on my on my page once again at Rhinoceros at I got options LLC. But yes, that's that's how it works.